This is Himalayan Beauty's YouTube channel. Dear viewers, Himalayan Beauty's YouTube channel dedicates this important and rare documentary on the Dachagam National Park Kashmir. On the October 20, 2018, our field team members along with some school children visited Dachagam National Park Kashmir. Hope you will enjoy and like this adventurous tour. तो आपके टीचर्स ने आपको इसलिए लाया है ताकि आप जो फॉरेस्ट इकोसिस्टम है इसकी इफादियत को समझ सको आप इसकी जरूरत को आप समझ सको वाइल्ड लाइफ की हिफाजत को आप समझ सको फॉरेस्ट इको सिस्टम मीन्स नॉट ऑनली द ट्रीज एंड दिस पाइन इसमें हर एक जीव जंतु जो है बालू जो है इंसेक्ट जो है पेड़ पौधे जो है कुल मिला जुला जो निज़ाम है उसी की इम्पोर्टेंस को समझने के लिए थोड़ा सा आपकी शुरुआत है यहाँ ने This is Himalayan Beauty's YouTube channel. Dear viewers, Himalayan Beauty's YouTube channel dedicates this important and rare documentary on the Dachagam National Park Kashmir. On the October 20, 2018, our field team members along with some school children visited Dachagam National Park Kashmir. Hope you will enjoy and like this adventurous tour. Dachagam National Park is located 22 kilometers from Srinagar, Jammu, and Kashmir. It covers an area of 141 square kilometers. The name of the park literally stands for 10 villages which could be in memory of the 10 villages that were relocated for its formation. These 10 villages were living in this region before the World War I the beginning of the early 20th century. The main gate entrance is very close to the new Theed General Bus Stand on the either side of Daryl Alum area. The park has been a protected area since 1910, first under the care of the Maharaja of Jammu and Kashmir and later under the observation of the concerned government authorities. It was initially created to ensure clean drinking water supply for the city of Srinagar. It was upgraded and declared a national park in the year 1981. Topography Dachagam National Park is located in the Zabarwan range of the western Himalayas. The variation in altitude is vast, ranging from 5,500 feet to 14,000 feet above mean sea level. Due to this vast variation, the park is demarcated into an uneven region. The terrain ranges from gently sloping grasslands to sharp rocky outcrops and cliffs. Flora The mountain sides below the tree line are wooded. Most of this coniferous forest consists of broad leaf species. Interspersed between these are alpine pastures, meadows, waterfalls and scrub vegetation with deep gullies, locally known as nars, 
running down the mountain face. Most of the grasslands and meadows, except in the harsh winters, are covered with colored flowers. Located high among its interiors is the Marser Lake from which flows the Dagwan River. This river flows all the way down to, and past, the lower region where it runs along the only proper road in the park and is also known for its fish population, the trout. Fauna The main animal species that Da Chagam is known for is the Hongul, or the Kashmir stag. Other species include Musk deer Ruscot Leopard Himalayan saro Kashmir grey lungur Kashmir stag Hongul Leopard cat NT Himalayan black bear Himalayan brown bear Jackal Hill fox Himalayan weasel Yellow-throated marten Jungle cat Long-tailed marmot Otter 1 Birds Cinnamon sparrow Black Bulbul Himalayan Mono Golden Oriole Minivet Pygmy Owlet Woodpecker Babbler Red Start Wagtail Co-class Pheasant Shuff Orange Bullfinch Kashmir Flycatcher Titler's Leaf Warbler Streaked Laughing Thrush Himalayan Rubathroat Wall Creeper Black and Yellow Grosbeak Himalayan Griffin Vulture Bearded Vulture Red-billed Blue Magpie Titmouse Kashmir Stag The Kashmir Stag, Service Canadensis Hang Lu, also called Hangul, is a subspecies of elk native to India. It is found in dense river rhine forests in the high valleys and mountains of the Kashmir Valley and northern Shamba district in Himachal Pradesh. In Kashmir, it's found in the Dachagam National Park where it receives protection but elsewhere it is more at risk. In the 1940s, the population was between 3,000 and 5,000 individuals, but since then habitat destruction, overgrazing by domestic livestock and poaching have reduced population dramatically. Earlier believed to be a subspecies of red deer, Cervus elephus, a number of mitochondrial DNA genetic studies have revealed that the Hongul is part of the Asian clade of the elk, Cervus canadensis. The IUCN, however, includes it in the new grouping of Central Asian red deer, Cervus hanglu with the Kashmir stag being the type subspecies, Service Hanglu Hanglu. Description 
This deer has a light rump patch without including the tail. Its coat color is brown with a speckling to the hairs. The inner sides of the buttocks are grayish white, followed by a line on the inner sides of the thighs and black on the upper side of the tail. Each antler consists of five tines. The beam is strongly curved inward, while the brow and best tines are usually close together and above the burr. Distribution and Ecology This deer lives in groups of 2 to 18 individuals in dense river rhine forests, high valleys, and mountains of the Kashmir Valley and northern Shamba in Himachal Pradesh. In Kashmir, it's found in the Dachagam National Park at elevations of 3,035 meters, Rajparian Wildlife Sanctuary, Ovara Aru, Sindh Valley, and in the forests of Kishtwar and Baderwa. Threats and Conservation These deer once numbered from about 5,000 animals in the beginning of the 20th century. Unfortunately, they were threatened, due to habitat destruction, overgrazing by domestic livestock, and poaching. This dwindled to as low as 150 animals by 1970. However, the state of Jammu and Kashmir along with the IUCN and the WWF prepared a project for the protection of these animals. It became known as Project Hongul. This brought great results and the population increased to over 340 by 1980. Much of the earlier published material was by the distinguished EPG, a member of the Bombay Natural History Society. Shortly before the expedition was mounted, Fiona Guinness and Tim Clutton Brock, both noted deer experts, had visited Kashmir and had gathered some useful field data, which confirmed that Hongul numbers were at a dangerously low level. The traditional breeding grounds of the Hongul deer is Upper Danchagam which is now occupied by Gujar shepherds and their dogs in summer refer the book A Life with Wildlife by M. K. Ranjitson. The animal is battling for its survival in its last bastion, they are now scattered within 141 square kilometers of the Dachagam National Park located on foothills of Zaberwan Range on the outskirts of Srinagar. Known for its magnificent antlers with 11 to 16 points, Hongul was once distributed widely in the mountains of Kashmir. During the 1940s, their number was believed to be about 3,000 to 5,000. As per the census in 2008, only around 160 exist. In 2015, the Hongul population estimation exercise was conducted in which the count of Hongul's in and around their habitats in Kashmir Valley is just 186. There are plans to breed them in captivity to increase their chances of survival. 
Dear viewers don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos and information.